Hey guys, welcome back to Delicious Life. Um, I'm not sure what order I'm gonna go in with this video, <clears throat> but I just uh, wanted to do a little talking video. I don't do these often, but I just kind of want to say uh, how I feel about certain things and stuff like that because I don't usually tweet and post often about that but this is my youtube channel and i just want to kind of voice my opinion and thoughts on things and some people may agree some may not uh some may think i'm kind of weird um for some things i'm gonna say but um i want to want to just do it i guess kind of like a video diary kind of uh situation but <clears throat> Maybe I'll look back on this later and I don't know. Uh, or maybe some people might agree with me. Maybe it'd be a good way to get conversation started, you know, down in the comments. But yeah, so welcome back to Delicious Life. Um, thanks for getting those views up on my, my the video before this one. So thanks for doing that. I, that one really got a lot of views. I don't know how or why, but thank you if you were one of the, those viewers. But um, I wanted to, it's not gonna go in any particular order. I might get kind of off track, I don't know. But first I wanted to say that I don't know why I'm like this, but uh, death, really affects me differently like I mean not differently as like uh than other people like everybody gets sad but I don't know why I always feel like like even if I don't know the person <clears throat> and more so like more certain situations more than others depending on how they passed away or stuff really affects me and I don't know why and uh, like I'll feel sad and I don't even know that person but I'll feel sad and like they were a close family member to me like recently um, over the weekend one of the actors of Disney Channel off the show I used to watch passed away and he was only 20 years old his name was um, Cameron Boyce I believe is how you say his last name but yeah, he passed away due to a seizure in his sleep and an ongoing uh, health um, condition he had that they were doing, get, you know, trying to figure out what, what it was and he was getting treatment for it. But, um, but yeah, so at first I didn't recognize who the name person was. I didn't recognize the name because I'm not really too, I don't know a lot of actors and actresses, like actors' <coughs> names. Uh, except for Taraji P. Henson, I don't know. That name just stuck with me because Baby Boy and, like, that was one of my favorite movies. So, but, yeah, so when he, I don't know, just hearing about it made me feel really sad. And I was just like, but I don't even know how to explain the emotion besides sadness. It was just really strong. Um, and, like, I think that's kind of strange because, like I said, these people, I don't even know who they are, but when I hear people pass away, like on Facebook and stuff, I just get really sad. I'm just like, I think because for me, when I think about death, it's really such a, I mean, everybody thinks it's really depressing, you know, when you think, oh man, one day I won't be here anymore. Um, you know, we don't know what's what's after this life we don't know a lot of people who are religious you know i grew up uh in a christian home we went to church and everything um you know so a lot of people who believe in religion and everything believe that we're gonna like some of us are going to heaven and those of us you know who didn't do right um you know they're, they're going to hell and or Excuse me. Wherever, you know, bad people go. But for those who don't believe in religion, you know, we j people just think, 
you know, what's after this or we're just getting buried and there we're no longer and that's just such a depressing thought to me. Like I get I guess you would say anxiety over it. Um, it stresses me out. I, like when I sit there and think about it or if, like if I'm talking to my friends and we talk about it, it just really it just makes me feel so uncomfortable and stuff and it makes me feel really sad. Like why couldn't we live forever or why couldn't there be something that made us live forever? I mean, I don't know. And like stay a certain age because nobody wants to get old and you know, feel sick and the different things that come with being old. Um but I don't know, yeah, so that just that's does one of those things that just makes me feel really sad and depressed and like so when I hear about people passing away, it just gets me in this weird funk for a little bit. And I don't know how to really explain it to people, but um, like, uh, one, I want to tell a little story. And some people, you know, like I said, who aren't religious and spiritual or, you know, things like that may think this is a little odd or whatever. Um, like, like, uh, my boyfriend, he's not spiritual or he didn't grow up like that. So I know he's going to watch this. And so I know he's going to think it's weird or whatever, but I don't really, you know, we don't really talk about that just cause I, you know, I don't really, I don't go to church anymore. I haven't been to church in a long time. So I don't claim to be Christian or anything, but like, yeah. So but yeah, so <clears throat> when when you watch this back, I know you're gonna think it's a little weird. But uh, when I was younger, I used to get like these dreams and feel these different feelings, like anxious. I guess it would be around my birthday, or yeah, mostly around my birthday, like uh, two weeks out from my birthday. I would say, you know. That my family want to plan me a birthday party, <clears throat> I would say, no, don't do it because somebody's about to die, somebody's about to pass away, something. And that person may be sick or something. Sometimes, depending on the situation, they may have been sick before my birthday, you know, all that time. But I just get this feeling. And two times I can remember getting this feeling is when my grandma passed away, my great my, I think she would be my great grandma. She's my grandmother's mom. So when she passed away, I remember that night. Like, yeah, so vivid. Um, I remember they were getting ready to, I guess, throw me a surprise party. And I knew they were gonna throw me a party, but I don't know if I knew it was a surprise. Um, <clears throat> but we had to ask my grandma. But um, yeah, so they were gonna throw me a party. And uh, and I was like, I didn't want to go with my dad at the at the time. I didn't want to go with my dad to stay the night at his house so they could get everything together. And the power, like, it was storming so bad, and the power went out, and it was so weird because like the power went out through my whole my grandma's whole entire house everywhere, except for my grandma's room, which was downstairs. Her lamp. Um, I, I don't remember if it was a lamp or if we had her room light on at the time. And I heard, like, a bunch of our daughters were over there visiting her. And, you know, we were just all visiting, actually. It was, like, her daughters, my grandmother's daughters, and my cousins, you know, some of my aunts and my cousins. And we were all just visiting, hanging out. And I remember it was storming real bad, and the power went out, except for her room. And so we all thought that was weird. Oh. And we were listening to <clears throat> gospel music, and it was like the radio was still playing. It was so strange, and I remember saying I did not want to go with my dad. Um, and then that night, when I got, you know, fast forward, I went to my dad's house because they, I was little, I had no choice. Um, and I had a nightmare. Like it was so, like I don't even know. It was scary because it was. 
All I could see was black and red. That's the only two colors like I could remember seeing. <clears throat> and I wet the bed, which I never wet the bed at this point in life. Like that was not me ever. So that nightmare had to be really severe. And I had to get up and take a shower. And after I got out the shower, my grandma called my dad, his mom called him to say that my grandma passed away and um, so we had to get out to the house and everything. And so that was one story. And then the next story I remember, um, like, I didn't, I, I didn't want to, um, this one wasn't so intense though. Like, I didn't want a birthday party. I never want a birthday party around my birthday, but, um, like my, my grandfather, he passed away, and, like, I just, I, I think I just didn't want a birthday party that year, and I just remember, remember, and I always, like, blame myself. I don't know. It's weird. Like, I always feel like I should have gone with him to the doctor, because that night he was having trouble with his heart, or, no, his asthma, and at the time I was getting ready to get in the shower, and I was, like, really wanting to go with him, but he was like, no. You stay here, um, I'll be back. And I just was like, I wanted to go. And I remember him saying, you're getting older now, so I can't, because I need to help with the shower or something, help with the shower rods or something. He was like, you're getting older now, so I can't continue to help you with this. The, you know, the shower, your grandma's going to have to help you. I remember him saying that, and then, like, he left. And I remember waking up to my grandma crying, and I just... Um, and she came in and she told me and I just remember like all these years that go by sometimes I get these dreams where I'm like I guess I play out the scenario if I were to go with him and just because like I feel like I feel like I could have saved him I guess and that bothers me but um, so yeah so I don't know I feel like I feel death differently like and like I said I don't know how to really explain it but um um then this you know this uh lady called my grandma and she told her that like I can see visions or you know things like that and like the lady didn't know us but she called out of the blue to say that and she was from Belize. And like I said, I know people are gonna be like, oh, that's weird, you know, what are you talking about? But, you know, this is how I grew up and, and like, it's just really strange things that, you know, you can't explain and it would just randomly happen or things to do with death. I would just feel it so strongly, I don't know. But, um, so yeah, that's that's the, thing I want to touch on about death is like it just makes me feel really sad and anxious and even if it's not even if it's someone I don't know it just makes me feel really sad and I always think you know I wonder what what they were doing that day or what was the last thing they posted you know now that we have social media and if anybody noticed anything off or different you know before that person passed away. Um, another thing I want to kind of touch on is, uh, I don't know, maybe this video is long. <laughs> another thing I want to kind of touch on is, uh, let's see, the, gosh, what was it? Um, I don't know. I can't remember now. But, uh, so I guess I'm going to wrap this video up because I don't really know what the, I forget what the other topic was. But, um, let me know how y'all feel or what y'all think down in the comments below about death and, you know, the inevitable of it happening and, 
do you are you religious do you believe um there's something after this world and do you know what i'm talking about when i say you know how i have dreams and how i used to have dreams and things like that and i don't know i think that that kind of just makes me paranoid like an anxious i don't know how. but yeah so let me know like it, if y'all know what I'm talking about or if y'all can relate um and again thank you for oh excuse me I felt like I had the burp and it was not coming um <clears throat> thank you for you know checking out my channel and uh if you subscribe thank you so much um let me know what other videos y'all would like to see uh, let's chat down in the comment section and my socials are always down in the description box so definitely check those out I would love to hear from you guys and um, yeah so oh my fingers hurt <laughs> holding this thing so tight uh, so yeah like comment subscribe share and turn on that post notification bell and I'll see y'all next time.